Oh my god, look at me. <laughs> so before we get into the foundation, we're going to use the primer. And this is the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. And it's 30 mil. It says on the back, directions, apply a dye slime amount to the face using fingers or a dense brush. It can be used alone or as a pre-makeup base for a hydrating and skin move smoothing effect. Best when paired with the Huda Beauty hashtag Fox Filter Foundation for a flawless selfie ready complexion. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's a matte finish with a shiny um, beauty and then it looks like a white matte in the Huda writing and this is what it looks like and then this is the actual primer it's kind of got like a shiny finish it's really nice this is my first time trying it I'm so excited oh I thought it was like a it's a pull one um, so I'm gonna pop some onto the back of my hand I didn't even know it was white I'm going to go with that amount and let's just see how far that takes us. Oh, it's, it smells. It's got like a fragrance to it. I don't know what it smells like. It smells like nutty. <laughs> like almond. I quite like the scent of it. It's really smooth. It's really movable. It feels a tad a little bit greasy. Um, but I don't know what that's about but it smells really really nice so then going on to the foundation this is what the foundation bottle looks like same concept as the primer and this is in the colour vanilla 120B so on the back here it says using a pump or less apply foundation evenly all over the face with a dense brush or a beauty sponge for best application pair with the huda beauty complexion perfection pre-makeup base which is what i have done this is the bottle it is a plastic bottle and the packaging is really nice i like the little fade going up and the packaging is really sleek and it's quite nice a pump with it and I'm going to apply it with a beauty sponge. Mine is a little bit damp, but I quite like to apply my um, makeup with it still a bit dry because I feel like it packs on so much more. So I've gone in with two pumps, and this is it there. As you can see, it's quite runny. And I'm just going to start patting this onto my skin. I may have got a shade. <laughs> one or two <laughs> shades too light <laughs> but this is literally like a mask like it's so full coverage like i thought that was going to be maybe not enough i can't say actually that the oh, oh my god look at me <laughs> let's just bring that down to my neck so i don't look completely crazy i don't think the foundation has as much as a scent as the primer does I still got loads on my hand. This is no joke, like <laughs> full coverage. <laughs> Rides down like quite quick. I'm noticing as I'm trying to move it, it just wants to stay. But then again, that could be the primer underneath making it stick. Getting a bit more movement on the forehead. <laughs> oh my god, I look a ghost. Oh my god, why did I get this shade? Is way too light for me this foundation is something else like oh my god I've still got loads on the back of my hand I'm just gonna pack it on under my eyes okay so anything we have learnt from this is that I'm definitely not the vanilla shade that is for sure I thought I was pale but obviously not <laughs> Oh well, at least someone at home is probably laughing at me right now as I'm looking like I'm auditioning for place in the Casper film. I'm dragging this as much as I can down my neck because I just, I don't know if I can come back from this. Like, I generally don't think I can. Oh my god. Okay, right, let's apply some concealer. Oh my god. This is 
stressing me out because it is so white <laughs> i love the foundation starting halloween 2018 early i'm just gonna go with it now because we became this far there's no going back so just pat 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 i'm just gonna go in and powder my face and then hopefully we can just go ahead and put some bronze let me just go ahead and do my under eyes and fill in my brows and then we'll come back and we'll see if um i got the part in casper no, i'm just joking guys i am back i have made it work i can't explain to you when i look in my mirror it actually blends quite nicely but on camera it's coming off like way even whiter if you get what i'm trying to say um let me just see if i can come up close and actually show you that's just okay now that i've kind of adjusted everything to it but it was emotional but we got through it it's fine it looks okay now so this is the finished look with all of my makeup done and let me just say the foundation scared me there for a minute i generally thought i would not be able to work with this and it was just way too pale for me but i don't know what's happened but it's actually blended in with me who knew panic over because it looks fine so kind of fail kind of not still love the foundation though like the foundation oh my god i've never tried anything as full coverage as this is like way full coverage and let me tell you they was not lying when they said a pump or less who uses less than a pump like everyone will do one or two like everyone does one or two pumps when they're using the foundation even three like who uses less than a pump it says a pump or less i use two pumps like next time i use this foundation i'm gonna be using less than a pump because that is all you need trust me that's all you need you see for yourself like it was just going and going and going like it just was not stopping like the coverage was just there like right off the bat straight away so full coverage don't mind don't worry i am gonna get a dark foundation but when i first applied it it was just like so fair i think it's because the coverage is so pigmented it's like insanely pigmented the colour payoff is going to be so strong. Like, I, I always think that with the All Night Foundation, the colour has to be... It has to match because it's going to be so intense when you put it on the skin. It was inspired by Huda Beauty and her problematic skin. It's packed with ultra-refined pigments that blur imperfections, conceal hyperpigmentation, and help overall complexion appear smoother. Inclusive for every skin tone and ethnic ethnicity... Huda devoted two years to developing a broad colour spectrum ranging from fair, beige, olive and rich tones as well as everything in between. The intelligent liquid formula blends seamlessly with the skin and dries to a radiant matte powder finish that looks luminous, never dry or cakey. I must admit, considering how full coverage this foundation is, my skin is not looking cakey it actually looks like a thin foundation on the skin and by that i mean texture not coverage the texture looks thin on my skin but the coverage is like wow like it's mental um and then i'm going to read a little bit about the primer as well so huda beauty recognized the importance of using a primer to create smooth canvas and give foundation long lasting wear as a result the complexion perfection pre-makeup base was born this silky creamy primer uses dimethicone and sephirical powders that visually blur lines and pores and smooths the overall look of skin the inclusion of rosehip oil means that it can be used as a lightweight moisturizer hydration hydrating skin for a soft and supple finish without feeling greasy well, it was really weird because when i put it on it kind of felt a little bit greasy only a tiny bit not a lot but just a little bit but it doesn't bother me because my skin is like 100 percent matte like completely matte this foundation is gorgeous it's full coverage like i want to say extreme coverage it's not full it's extreme coverage um it's a matte finish and it literally looks so beautiful on the skin I am in love with it. I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this foundation for so many occasions for going out just when I wanna look like flawless, like completely flawless. Um, and then for the primer, 
as I said, I'm not doing a longevity video and seeing how long it wears, but for the primer, it smells nice. Um, it feels creamy and soft on the skin. And yeah, it's paired well with the foundation. I don't have any problems with it. I haven't had any problems with putting a foundation on top of it. It went on really nice. The application was nice. And yeah, I'm really happy with the foundation. And can I just have a medal? for pulling this back together because it's an absolutely amazing foundation and it deserves all the hype that it gets it's so insane and i definitely recommend you to go try it because you're missing out if you're not like you need this in your life if you love full coverage if you don't then you're probably going to get scared <laughs> but yeah i would definitely recommend this foundation it's so lovely give the video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what you think and subscribe if you haven't already without further ado thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye this could be us so back to what i was saying could be us